Karumi, you're at Haneda Airport where this all unfolded. Can you give us the latest? Yeah, that's right. I'm standing on the fifth floor of Haneda Airport at Terminal 2. We're standing here. We've been here all morning because the runway behind me is where the collision happened last night at around 6 p.m. local time in Tokyo. There is still debris on the runway, and that is on purpose because investigations are now underway, digging into the causes. And as you can see uh, behind me, there's it's a little speckle of black maybe on my right shoulder. That is the debris. There is not that much to see. It was an Airbus A350-900. It was one of the newer planes, cost $300 million. Quite a big plane that went up in flames. And what's left is just the wing and a bit of the tip. Now, the 379 passengers that were on board this plane uh, luckily survived the crash. They escaped through an emergency slide at the front of the plane. The, you know, the first-hand accounts were talking about the smoke, the heavy smoke that filled the cabin, the heat coming from the back of the plane because of the fire and the panic that ensued. But thankfully, the 379 people on board, including 12 crew members of Japan Airlines uh, 516, were were okay. On the flip side, you mentioned the Coast Guard plane that it collided with. Five five people, five crew members were dead. One survived. That was the pilot. Now we're looking into the cause. Of course, the question everybody has on their minds is how did this happen? Investigators are, of course, discussing it with the pilot. It may have something to do with miscommunication. More details are set to come out.